Hello people and welcome to this class in where we are going to talk specifically about the dictionary in InDesign. I really want to point out this tool because it is important when we are working with long text, we have to be sure that we are using the correct dictionary. Otherwise, when we use the check spelling or even when we turn on the hyphenation, we'll find mistakes in our text. So where can we find the dictionary? Firstly, we have to click the text tool, shortcut letter T, and then click on character formatting controls. When we move to the right, we find here the character style and just below we find the dictionary. Now it is in Spanish, right? But if we expand this menu, we have a lot, a lot of different languages. So in this case, we we should select English, right? Here it is, English Canadian, English UK, English from the States, etc, etc. Let's say English UK. One click on here and it is already selected. Take in mind that if we have a text and we want to change the dictionary, we can do it in two different ways. We can select the text box, go in and then select all the text. Then it's high time to go over the dictionary here expand it and change to the new one. Imagine we want French. As you can see, the hyphenations changed because according to this new language, words will be cut that way. Another way, and this is the most interesting way, is to change the dictionary using the paragraph styles. So I could go over paragraph styles. I check what paragraph style is this text, right click, edit this paragraph style and from here I click advanced character formats and I will find here the dictionary used for this paragraph style. In this case, in the very beginning, this paragraph style is set up as Spanish and from here I can change as well. Imagine I say Russian. Okay, then if I select this text box, I go to paragraph styles. I hold Alt and I click to delay the changes. Then I have here the text with the character formats set up in my paragraph style. And one of them is the dictionary, right? Which is in Russian. Anyways, this is just a little introduction about how to use the paragraph style. We will use it a lot in the future. Just keep it in mind and we'll see it very, very soon and in a very deep, deep way. Time to say goodbye now and I hope to see you in the next class.